Hey fam, welcome back, welcome back. In today's video, I believe we are officially on week five of our prepping list, but I'm going to go ahead and start off with some things that you might want to go ahead and start getting in your stockpile now. These are basic like medical supplies. Um, believe it or not, not everyone have a first aid kit. I did a talk, some talking with a few people and I asked the question and I'm asking how many of you guys actually have a first aid kit in your home? You will not believe how many people actually do not have a first aid kit of the basic supplies. So let's go ahead and look at some, some basic, basic supplies that you should have in your house as far as for your first aid kit. You guys, it can be very um, cost effective to shop in them dollar aisles that still exist for first aid supplies um, such as band-aids, alcohol, um, you know, things like that. Anything that you can find first aid related in the dollar aisle, especially like at Dollar General, is well worth a shot because it's really hard to find even band-aids under a dollar now. So definitely, guys, when you have the time and you do have a Dollar General or you have any other suggest suggestions, and if, you know, leave it in the comments, guys, um, where you can find simple first aid supplies under $1. This way, it's cost effective for a lot of people and there's no excuses. All right. So, guys, why you should have a first aid kit on hand? Well, according to Mayo Clinic, a well-stocked first aid kit can help you respond effectively to common injuries or emergencies. Keep at least one first aid kit in your home and one in your car. Store your kit someplace easy to get to and out of reach of young children. Make sure children old enough to understand the purpose of kits and know where they are stored. And you know what? I definitely agree with keeping them away from young children when i tell you guys my youngest not my not my um not my two-year-old but my second youngest when i say band-aids are stickers band-aids are stickers um so i had to go and get them kits and put them up like the kits that i have around the house not like just in my stockpile but the kits that i have around the house and you know the boxes of band-aids that's in the drawers yeah i had to remove everything um because band-aids are really stickers guys they become real curious and them stickers are very very fun all right so some um first aid supplies to consider having on hand is adhesive tape elastic wrap bandages bandage bandage strips you know the little butterfly ones all bandages in all shapes and sizes definitely will come in hand super glue rubber tourniquet you just never know um the non-stick sterile bandages and the gauze pads definitely in all sizes those will come in hand as well instant cold packs i believe they still sell them at dollar tree gloves most definitely latex or non-latex glove if there's a latex allergy definitely stick with the non-latex glove scissors tweezers things in that sort hand sanitizer antibiotic ointment i know they sell antibiotic ointment in dollar tree but it is a dollar 25 I believe they also have it in the dollar aisle at dollar general um so little alcohol pads or alcohol the alcohol pads are more suitable for a first aid kit i wash solution thermometers please do not forget your thermometers guys um so sterile saline you just never know breathing barriers such as surgical masks syringe medicine cups or spoons a first aid manual if needed and hydrogen peroxide because it is another great disinfectant um so calamine lotion is great for like poison ivy 
um, you know, certain rashes and things to the skin. Anti-diarrhea medication, believe it or not, that is something you should have in your stockpile. I will also include some of those little packets of the electrolyte, um, uh, packets of the electrolyte powders just to have on hand because if you guys know, if you have severe diarrhea or throwing up, that will cause you to be dehydrated. So definitely something like that. Hydrocortisone cream, cough and cold medicines, personal medications, you guys, personal medications that don't need refrigeration. Um, if you need like an e-pen, that should that should definitely be in your stockpile. So if you person if you're a person who actually have allergic reactions to certain things, um, and it gets severe, you should be prescribed the e-pen, and the e-pen should be in your stockpile. Um, pain relievers, Tylenol, ibuprofen, things like that, Motrin, um, stuff like that should definitely be inside of your first aid kit. Your stockpile overall, it should be there. If you guys do not have any of these items, of course, this is not all. This is just some. I'm just naming a few. I am just naming a few. Um, most definitely hop on the train and start getting these items because you would definitely need it someday. Um, some other emergency items include like emergency phone numbers. You just never know. What if you can't like hop on your cell phone and look up that number? Have these things written down. Have a certain folder for your emergency phone numbers, your medical forms for each family member. Um, you can also put this stuff on a flash drive. But like I said, if you have it written down in one of those um, waterproof little folders, that would definitely you know, help as well. Have it on hand. You know, certain medications that your family take on a daily basis and need. Have that on hand as well. One thing when I'm looking at a lot of lists online, it includes band-aids and things like that. But it does not include the bleed stop. Bleed stop is something else that you want to go ahead and consider putting in your stockpile as well. Please do not forget the bleed stop, you guys. Bleed stop definitely helps for like the wounds that you get and like large cuts. Definitely consider, you know, getting some bleed stop, you know, on hand. Another thing to consider are the suture kits. So those will help if you have one of them cuts and you know that thing need to be sewn on up. You know, so those kits actually have the needles, the thread, um, you know, everything that's needed just in case you have one of those large cuts that needs attention right away. So if you are someone who's maybe a tad bit afraid of seeing that blood, listen, if it definitely came down to it, you just never know. Some people, you'll just have to bite the bullet and get it done. They say put on your big girl draws, but definitely you'll have to bite that bullet and get it done because you're going to be responsible for doing a lot of things on your own that you do not like to do or just maybe not used to do or just maybe make you uncomfortable. There's going to be a lot of things, you know, that you just have to face. Um... You know, and that's for all of us as we all going through these times. But a suture kit, I believe that they're a little bit on the expensive side. Um, if you can prepare them on your own, I'm not too sure. I would have to look into that. I'm sure you can. But when I look on Amazon, them things are a little expensive. So, but it's definitely recommended to have one in your first aid kit. Let that be a part of your first aid kit. You just never know. Um... So, yes, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this here up. Definitely constantly check your first aid kits. Like, if you're going to be regularly using the stuff from your first aid kit, make sure that you replace it as well. Um, also, go ahead and consider taking some type of first aid course, course through Red Cross. I know Red Cross, they used to offer courses for, like, CPR and things like that. Not too sure if they still do. Um... 
I'm sure they do, though, matter of a fact. I'm sure they do. They are the American Red Cross, right? So you just type it in. Look up what's in your area where you have to go to get some type of, um, you know, first aid training. And, of course, talk to your children. If you have young children, talk to your children about the importance of first aid. And if there was an emergency, certain things that they can do that's, you know, age appropriate. You know, something that you trust your kid doing. If there was an emergency situation, um, you know, let them know where their emergency phone numbers are at. If if needed, you just you just never know, honestly. And being a parent, you want to make sure that your child is also well prepared. So definitely, guys. So this week, please focus this w- upcoming weekend. Focus on making sure that your first aid kit is in order. Please make sure your first aid kit is in order. Um, we talked about things like certain foods and, you know, water beverages, you know, um, to stockpile and things like that. But this week I want to main, I want to mainly just focus on your first aid kits, things like medication. Um, you should definitely just have on hand. Like if you're a person, like I said, who take medications, prescribe medications on a daily basis and you need it. See if your doctor can write you a prescription for a three month supply. The only thing is some insurances will not cover it and you would be coming out of pocket. Um, I've heard of people saying, you know, they had some type of accident and all their medication went down a drain, but they were still charged for that second prescription of that medication so you know totally up to you if your medication does not cost that much then okay maybe it won't be breaking the bank but for some people the medication is ridiculously expensive depending on what you're taking but if you can get that three month supply of your medication definitely go for it um you know just to have it on hand because i'm gonna tell you why certain medications are on back order or in short supply one of my children take a medication every single day that he needs and guess what on back order not only is it on back order but the last last month when he got his medication it was a little note it just says it's the same pill but the pill color has changed so the medication is also changing um Not sure, being like if the color or the size, you know, being that the color and the size have changed, is the effectiveness still, you know, effective? Um, I'm really not sure, but it's a lot of stuff changing. Like I said, with the medication being on back order, you want to make sure that you have this stuff on hand. Um, Yeah, because I was surprised too. I'm like, what? This medication looks different, you know? So the pharmacist did let me know, you know, some of the medications are coming in and it's a different, you know, maybe a different size or a different color, but it's still the same thing. That's what the pharmacist had to say. Um, So you guys be on the lookout for that. If your medication is not falling short yet, please, you know, if you need to talk to your pharmacist or or anyone or your doctor just see if they're expecting any issues as far as like the medication coming in or possibly just call a company this way you can just be prepared um yeah just just have everything you need on hand that's pretty much it we're gonna wrap this video up because i feel like i'm rambling and i know i can go into a whole nother conversation this week and work on stockpiling first aid supplies or at least having a first aid kit in your home it's recommended to have a first aid kit in your home and in your vehicle if you have a vehicle um it's definitely recommended to have more than one first aid kit try to have at least two depending on your family size you will know what's best for you right um so that is pretty much it this is shauna checking out for moments with us i'm gonna try to hit the dollar tree this weekend not dollar tree because y'all know mm -mm. Dollar Tree, some things are too expensive. I'm going to try to head to Dollar General this weekend and see what exact um, first aid supplies I can find for that dollar in that dollar aisle. Of course, I'm going to take you guys along with me. And that's pretty much it. This is Shauna checking out her moments with us. And make sure you all, yes, stay with me. Stay prepped, stay blessed, and stay safe. But most of all, remain beautiful queens and kings. Until next time, I'm going to see y'all. Peace out.